What's up, guys? It's TJ. Um, I've been getting a few comments on um, a couple of my videos telling me that I need to make a step by step video. So, for those of you that requested it, here it is your GarageBand sample beat step by step tutorial. The first step, um, of course, with any sample beat, well, most sample beats, is to get the sample. So um, I found my sample, and it's actually an Isaac Hayes song, one of her favorite songs. Um, let me play it for you a little bit. Alright, so now that you have your sample in place, um, it's time to chop it up. But before you chop it up, you have to give it a little bit of time. You have to think about it, play the song a couple times. But if you're the type that wants to chop it up first and then, you know, play around, mess around with the keys, listen, you know, make a sequence that way, it's cool. It's cool that way. But I tend to um, listen to it first, get a little idea of what I want to do with it before I actually just mess around, you know? All right. When chopping up samples in GarageBand, you're going to get a headache. It's really annoying how they have it set up, kind of. So basically, the first step that I always have to go through is getting this silent sound at the beginning out. Um... You can't really get it clean right here if you see. It starts at a random spot. So what I tend to do is I tend I tend to mess around with the um, tempo so I can move this sound wave, the sound wave right here, onto one of these lines. Right now I'm gonna go to master track and then play around with the tempo to get that on a line, like right there. That's that looks perfect. Let me see. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's close to perfect. It might not be perfect, but it's close. Let me try. I, I like it. I'm a perfectionist. I like it to be perfect. There you go. And then click that. Delete. It's gone. There you go. Now it starts perfect. All right. Now that we have the little, the little silence at the beginning cut off, it's time to match your sample's tempo to the tempo in GarageBand. This is probably the longest part of making a beat for me in some cases. It's definitely the, the most annoying to me. I usually go to the second bar, hit C, oh wait, hit C and have to drag it right here. C is going to give you like a little loop bar. Get a little piece of the song from bar to bar to fit in there, if that makes any sense. Like from where the bar starts in the song, then you have to fit it inside the loop bar. See, that doesn't, that doesn't sound good. Now, mess with this until it, so basically, still doing it. Okay, here we go. I think I might have found the beginning of this. Here we go. Okay, it's a little bit slow now, so when you hit 70, see if I can get it perfect. Then I have to go to the beginning again and mash this up again. Erg, so annoying. All right, now that you found your tempo, now you'll be able to chop up your sample. Chopping up the sample is probably one of the easier parts. So basically, all you really have to do is, you know, go over your sample until you see that little crosshair. Select that part, click and click and drag to select, and then just click on it. That that's one part right there, and then just continue to do this until you're done. All right, now that you've chopped your sample up, now um you can play around with it um, you could dra drag and drop how you want to arrange it or whatever or if you want to like add a piece you could hit alt and then drag it to make you know get the same piece over and over in this case I'm going to put it in my MIDI controller it's an Axiom 25 it's really good I've had it for about three years now in order to do this you have to make a new track so in order to make a new track you go to track new track and you have to make sure it's a software instrument click create wait for it for a second alright now you have your software instrument um go over to sound effects and then hit applause laughter Just open musical typing even though you put it in musical typing you can still play it from your MIDI controller as you can see I'm doing right now it still works so I guess hit a controller I mean, hit a key to see where it is drag it into the MIDI controller sorry now that you have this done, you can All 
All right, now that you have your sample chopped up and put into your MIDI controller, now it's time to find your little sequence. So play around with it for a few, um, do your little thing. But for the sake of this tutorial, once again, I'm just going to keep it simple. Just go. Wait. Since it's really a simple sequence, I'm just going to drag and drop my sequence into order. So I'm going to hit Command D to duplicate this whole track right here. And then just drag whatever I want on here. So first, I'm going to have this, that beginning part. Let me solo this so you can hear it. So that's all you hear. So basically, let me hit C. C is um, a loop bar. It brings up a loop bar. And you could drag that out to be however long. So in this case, I'm using it for four bars. Basically, here's my little verse. Next to my verse, I'm going to have my hook, of course. And my hook, I kind of um, skipped it over, skipped around and just play with I'm just making it up on the spot right now to be honest here's my hook um, actually for this I'm gonna cut this in half there we go and hit that up see so here's my hook Now that you have your um, your sequence already picked up, you can now add some drums. That's what I always do. I add drums second. Um, for right now, you just go to new track, create a new track. Sorry, software, and then drum kits. But um, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna upload a couple of drums for people to download. If you want, you could import your own kits, and uh, let me see. Yeah, you could hit import your own kits. I actually downloaded a Kanye kit, and here it is right here, and it's saved, so I could use it for all my beats. I don't have to keep putting it in. Oh man, I, I forgot this is soloed. All right, I've chosen my drums. It's right here. And in GarageBand, the drums really suck, but I have a tutorial which will teach you how to, you know, um, make better drums. Alright, so now that I've I programmed my drums, I have them set up, here's what I got. Alright, there you go. Now you have your beat. It's uh, not a very, it's not one of my best beats, but it's um, just for the sake of the tutorial, just show you guys how to do it, how I do it. Um, there's the beat. Thank you for watching. This is TJG. Um, Alright, bye.